Hi Pisces, welcome back to the Blessings Foundry Tarot. Today we're going to do a daily spread for you, just a general reading to look at what's going on, how you might be feeling, what's hidden, what you need to know, and what's the overall outcome. Short and sweet. At least that's the intent. Get the message you need. We have a Queen of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles come up, so maybe you're done waiting, maybe you're fed up. We'll see. We'll see what Spirit has to say. Guys, Guardians, Angels, Ancestors, by be light and above, please come in here. Please show Pisces Collective what they need to know for their daily spread. What information do you have for them? Here we go. All right, for your current situation, we have four of pentacles. So the four of pentacles, you know, might be trying to hold on to something, maybe needing to let go. Your flow might be interpreted. What are you feeling today? Today we're feeling the four of wands. Pisces Collective, you might be feeling the four of wands, a sense of, you know, having the stability or wanting to celebrate, maybe having community with others. Maybe joyfulness, celebration. What's hidden from Pisces Collective? What is Pisces Collective not seeing? And the magician. So the magician can be about manipulation or energy or having skills available. So what first came to me is perhaps there's a manipulation around you that you're not seeing. You might feel the energy of it, but you're you're not seeing it clearly. Like you, you have the inner knowing that something's not quite right, but you, you don't know um precisely what it is so what does pisces collective need to know today about love lovers we have the lovers so clearly you may pisces may be faced with an option or choice in love you know maybe if that's for commitment we see the key up there looking at the key as a choice you know are you going to commit to somebody or are you going to stay single what do they need to know about career and finances we get the ten of swords so there might be a change or or Ten of Swords is feeling is also a sense of, of victimhood or feeling like things have just been really crappy and woe is me kind of. It's but also it's it's the worst is behind you and it's up to you to, you know, get out of that mental space to see things brighter so you can go towards your ace of swords, you know, because the ten is a completion. So maybe you're you're thinking around career and finances isn't the healthiest right now. And just in general, what does Pisces need to know? We have the Ace of Wands, and here we have a beautiful, beautiful new beginning. You know, a new be potential new beginning in passion and creativity and exploration and expansion. You know, and that makes sense. You know, we have, we're on um, Pisces, we're in an energy where maybe things aren't flowing. You want to celebrate, you know, you're, you're feeling good and joyful. You know, there might be a manipulation around you, and you have a choice, perhaps in love or emotional choice, you know, to stay in your victimhood or in your victimhood sounds so so harsh you know maybe just to stay in in your feels right at a, in a place where you're just not as happy as you know you could be like choosing to be bummed out rather than like looking at the sunny side of life you know and then you have that new beginning so what does pisces need to know for overall outcome for their daily read today we get the queen of wands and that's you know the queen of wands is what the queen is a sexy mofo, right? Guy or girl, right? I mean, this could be a, a feminine energy that a guy is possessing, possessing at the current time. And there's nothing wrong with that. We all have the duality of male, masculine and feminine in us and they balance, etc. So, but the queen of wands is a go-getter, like fiery, passionate, like usually they're very sexy and attractive. It's like, hey baby, how you doing, right? So, you know, the outcome is, you know, Overall, right now, Pisces, you're freaking hot. You're, you're saucy, all right? So let's go and see, get some clarification for these real quick. Let me move this one down here. All right, so let's see. Spirit, what do you want Pisces to know for the overall message of this reading? What is the overall message for this reading for Pisces, please? What is the overall message for the Pisces Collective for their daily read today? And we have, pardon me, we have the waiting game. So perhaps something's going on where it's just going to take patience. You know, the two is of um, unions, choices. So maybe there's, you know, a choice that is coming, but you're just, you're in a moment of pause. And this is, can, this can be a great opportunity to do some of the inner work or the healing or, or just take time to, you know, enjoy life. All right. 
What message do you have for the, from the Akashic Records for Pisces Collective today for their daily read? What message do you have for the Pisces Collective for their daily read? Please, one card for their daily read. What message do you have for... Oh, here we go. Okay, and then we get Four of Roses, View of the Ego. Now, the View of the Ego matches with the Magician card because the Magician card can be a card of manipulation. And where that matches the Ego is the Ego can sometimes shade things in a color that might not be for a reflection of the complete truth or you might just need to step back or this may actually be somebody else in your life you know some maybe somebody is being you know very prideful or you know just maybe pushing their way through in a in an unhealthy way all right let's see spirit what is the overall energy or influence that the Pisces Collective is experiencing right now. What is the overall energy or influence that the Pisces Collective is experiencing right now? One card, please, Spirit. What is the overall influence or energy that the Pisces Collective is experiencing right now? One card, please, Spirit. One card, please, Spirit. One card, please. One card, please. What is the overall energy for this reading that the Pisces Collective is experiencing right now? What is the overall energy? Here we go. And we get seven, and this is kind of monkey mind going into your head, using your internal knowledge as your resources and and really thinking things through. Clearly we have our intuition, but perhaps there's a need, our energy needs to be balanced, um, both with logical and um, subconscious or intuitive right now. Let's see what else we can do for the Pisces Collective. Let's get some clarification on these cards. This, this, this deck is saying, pull me, so here we are. And we'll try to you know, keep it quick here. But Spirit, what do you want Pisces to know about this lover's card? What is this, what, what do you want Pisces to know about this lover card? What is the message in this lover, lover's card, please? One card to clarify the lover's card. What do you want Pisces to know about the lover's card for love? What do you want Pisces to know about the lover's card for love? What do you want Pisces to know about the lover's card for love? Please, one card, please. Spirit. Oh. The Queen of Wands again, but it didn't come out, so I'm not going to take it. All right. One card to clarify the lover's card, please, Spirit. What do you want Pisces to know about the lovers? What do you want Pisces to know about the lover's card, please? Okay, so we get the Ace of Pentacles, so this is, it represents a new offer, perhaps... Pisces, you want to extend an offer of love to somebody. Maybe that's what the choice is about, extending an offer of love, or maybe you're hoping to receive an offer of love. What do you want Pisces to know about the Ten of Swords for their career finances? Please be very, very clear around this because this is a sensitive topic of career finances, especially in this difficult time. What, if, what do you want Pisces to know about the Ten of Swords? Please be very clear, Spirit. One card to clarify the Ten of Swords. One card to clarify the Ten of Swords for the Pisces Collective, please, Spirit. One card to clarify the Ten of Swords for the Pisces Collective. One card to clarify. Okay. One card to clarify the Ten of Swords for the Pisces Collective, please. What is it? What do you want them to know about current finances with the Ten of Swords, please? Please be very clear. Okay, the Seven of Pentacles, but I'm not taking it. That's the card of waiting. Maybe the waiting's over. Let's see. What's the Ten of Swords spirit? Please be very clear for the Pisces Collective. What do you want them to know? Okay. Okay. So here, the Ten of Swords is clarified by the Three of Wands and the Ace of Wands. So the Three of Wands is, is waiting for, and the Ace of Wands is new beginning. So perhaps this is saying, you know, Pisces, you've been waiting for a while for this new beginning, kind of feeling, you know, crappy about the wait, I don't know. So it's like, you know, now spirit saying you've been waiting for this new beginning. What would happen with this new beginning? Please show us more about this new beginning in career and finance spirit. One card to clarify this new beginning that Pisces Collective is waiting for in, in career and finance, please. Please be very, very clear. Ooh. Empress, that's beautiful. So Pisces, you've been, you've been waiting um, for this new beginning in career and finances so you can feel abundant and go to a place of comfort and creativity. So what is this um, Ace of Wands 
for the Pisces Collective. What do they know in general, need to know in general about the Ace of Wands? One card to clarify the Ace of Wands for Pisces Collective. What is this new beginning? What is the Ace of Wands for Pisces? What will this Ace of Wands be in their life? What new beginning is coming for Pisces? What is this Ace of Wands, please? Spirit, one card, please. One card to clarify. Oop, okay, and we're going to get two. So we have Ten of Swords again in the Knight of Wands. So this is... Again, I think Spirit's trying to say, you know, we're coming, we're moving out of this feeling of ruin, of devastation, of things that no longer serve us, that aren't working for us. We're moving away from that. Okay, so what is Pisces Collective moving towards? We understand Pisces is moving, you know, there's a transformation taking place. We don't have the death card, but we can clearly see that, you know, there's a shift taking place. You know, fours are harmony, so... And we have the ace or the number one for magician, and we have the ace of wands for the magician. Or I'm sorry for the wow, the number one for the ace of wands. What what is the transformation that's occurring in Pisces Collective right now? What is the transformation that's occurring with the Pisces Collective right now? What is the transformation that's occurring in the Pisces Collective right now? Wow, okay. Okay, so I I put this um like brand card in here and whenever this comes out it's an indicator for me that you need to really pay attention to this really pay attention to this okay and then what we get is the nine of cups and the six of wands so really pay attention <laughs> things are going to be turning in your favor the change a new beginning that's coming is is and the nine of cups is the Pis is pisces card also so you know, you're coming to a place of abundance and satisfaction. You've been in a crappy place for a really long time. You're coming to the place of abundance and satisfaction and recognition and reward. So this is the change that's going to be occurring for Pisces is coming out, making the choice to take an opportunity, making the choice to take an opportunity that we had with the Ace of Pentacles. We've been waiting for a long time for the new beginning um, of with the empress so we can step into our abundance leaving the victimhood or what no longer serves us behind and you know stepping into that queens of wand mentality of you know go-getter self-driven very self-confident you know i'm beautiful i'm i'm self-reliant i'm i'm strong i'm i'm self-empowered and you're coming into a place of abundance and satisfaction where you're going to be recognized and rewarded very well for your effort and that's what I have for you today, Pisces. God bless.